Hello everyone, my name is Govind and I welcome you all to my channel where I share content related to data analytics. In this particular video, I am going to explain what are these three standard DAX calculations which is year over year growth, month over month growth and quarter over quarter growth. And believe me, these kind of questions gets frequently asked in Power BI interviews. So if you are preparing for the Power BI interviews, so I would recommend that please master these three standard DAX calculations and it might come in your interviews as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So if I talk about year over year growth, so its formula is current year value. It can be any value. It can be sales, profit, quantity, whatever you are considering, right? So current year sales minus previous year sales divided by previous year sales. So here there is a difference of time period only. If you are considering the whole year, then it becomes the year over year growth. Similarly, if you are considering month, then it becomes month over month growth and in quarter it becomes quarter over quarter growth. So here the logic stays the same only the time period is changing. So you just need to remember one template I am going to explain when we will be building the DAX formula for that and with the help of that template you can create uh, any of these three calculations right. So before that let me tell you manually uh, what uh, what how we calculate growth in uh, manually in Excel. So Suppose um, my current year is 2025 and my previous year is 2024, right? So here we are considering the whole year. Let's take any value. Suppose my current year sales is 1000 and my, uh, sorry, here, let me change it to previous year and my previous year sales is let's suppose it is 200 okay so uh, what what does yoy percent mean as compared to the previous year how much i have grown in the uh, current year in terms of percentage right so its formula is simple you have to uh, subtract the previous year sales from the current year and then whatever the result you get you have to divide that by previous year uh, value so if i uh, build here in excel so i would start writing equal then bracket so current year sales which is this value minus previous year sales which is this value divide by previous year sales which is again this y value i would hit enter and i would change this particular uh, value to the percent so it means that i have grown 400 percent as compared to the previous year so this is how we calculate uh, year over year growth in uh, uh, like this is how the concept is right Similarly, if you consider month, so the logic is same and if you consider quarter, so logic also remains the same, only the time period is changing, right? Okay guys, so let us see how we can calculate these three standard DAX calculations using Power BI. So I'm having a data set where I'm having two tables. You can see here at the right side, date table and sales table. In date table, I'm having multiple date related columns and in sales table, I'm having some columns. And here I'm interested in calculating uh, the three calculations for this particular value, which is sales amount, right? So I would go here and I would create a new measure, which is sales amount. And I can make use of some function directly. So sum of sales amount column, I can choose it and I would can close the bracket. So this would, uh, okay. So the same measure already exists let me check yes i think this is the column name so let's shorten this so that the name becomes different and i would click okay so for this particular measure i am going to calculate the year over year growth month over month growth and quarter over quarter growth so from here i would pick this table visual and i would drag the year which is this Field and I would change this year to tone summarize and I would also drag the measure that I have created let me increase the font size for the better visibility right so this is my sales amount for the respective years right so let us start building measure for that I would go here and create new measure y o y so first we are calculating the y o y percent so here First, I would calculate the current year sales. So we, when we do not change any filter context, we do not use calculate. So it also, it always respects the current context, right? So I would declare a variable 
and I would name this variable as current year sales and I can refer the same sales amount measure that I have created. If I show you what does this variable would return. So let me tell you, you can see it is respecting the current context, right? So here we are not modifying any filter context. So this context, which is the year filter in this particular visual, this uh, values are respecting the current context. So it means that it is giving me the current year sales, right? The sales for the selected row. Now I can calculate the previous year sales. So I would name this variable as previous year sales. And now I have to change the filter context. So the calculate will come into the picture. So I have to calculate the sales amount. But not for the current year, I have to go one year back. So for that I can make use of dated function. Right, so that dated function let us go back in the time interval. So the first parameter it is asking for the dates. So I need to give the continuous continuous date. Always continuous dates I get in the date table. So I would pass here date table date column. Number of intervals, how much back you want to uh, go. So I want to go to the previous year. So I can give minus one. So whenever we uh, have to go back, so we always give the value in the minus uh, with minus symbol and interval. So it is asking for uh, it is giving us the suggestion that I can use either of these four options. So I have to go uh, back here. So I would choose I would choose this year option, right? So if I tell you what the, what does this particular uh, variable would return? Let me tell you. Okay, so you can clearly see that for 2018, this is my current year sales, right? And for previous year variable, it is giving me the sales of 2017. So what happens is that it is respecting the current context because here I am not uh, I am not using any calculate function and I am not uh, going back in the time interval, right? So that's why it is giving me the same value. But here, how this particular calculation gets evaluated? So calculate is the filter modifier. So it has to calculate the sales amount. So it will calculate it, but it will see that my current year is in the context is 2018. So for calculating this value, it would give the whole dates of the previous year, which is from 1 Jan to 31 Jan 2017. So those rows in behind, uh, like behind the data model, those rows will evaluate, like it will evaluate uh, from 2018 what is the previous year 2017 so from the starting of the year till the end of the year it would give whole rows whole data to the calculate and then it calculates the previous year cells similarly for each of the row it is calculating the previous year cells right so this is how it is being calculated now I can just return my concept I can make use of divide function and in numerate in numerator uh, I have to give current year sales minus previous year sales then in denominator, I can give previous year sales and in alternate result, I can give zero for error handling. If I commit to this particular measure, so you can see, I can change uh, the formatting from here to the percentage. So you can clearly see that it has calculated us uh, uh, the year over year growth. So let us see how we can calculate the month over month growth, right? So from here, I would uh, remove this particular calculation. And from date table, I would drag the month name column. Now, the month name column is in the visual. I can uh, convert this particular visual into the matrix visual. For the better visualization, I would change the style to tabular. Okay, so now it is more visible, right? So here I'm having years and the respective month, right? And the sales. So just you have to, uh, like the calculation that we have just developed, which was this particular calculation, you have to copy this and new measure and paste this. So year over year, you can change it to month over month. This is a template, right? So you can, you have to just change the values so current year sales you can change it to current month sales previous month sales and 
since month name column is in the visible so it will risk it will give the current month sales and uh, here just you need to change this particular parameter the third parameter of the dated function to month because we are considering the month and uh, here also just change the variable name current month sales then previous month sales divided by previous month sales hit enter change to the percentage format this has calculated the month over month growth for me right okay guys so let us see how we can calculate the quarter over quarter growth so from this table visual i would remove this month name field because here we are considering the quarter the whole game is of the time period so i would uh, uh, remove this calculation and i would also remove this particular uh, calculation so from date table i can uh, drag quarter column which is this one right so it is giving me uh, like the quarter wise sales the it is respecting the current uh, context right so i just need to again uh, copy my previous calculation control c and i can now build new measure control v and i just need to change the values so quarter over quarter percent current quarter previous quarter here it will respect the current context but here in the dated i can uh, change the third parameter to quarter similarly here just need to change the variable name current quarter sales previous quarter sales divided by previous quarter sales come into the measure change the formatting to the percentage and drag this so you can clearly see it has calculated the quarter over quarter growth so yes guys that's all about this particular video and if you like my content so please please subscribe to my youtube channel it really motivates me to bring more such videos and one more thing i have recently uploaded one video on how you can publish your power bay projects on github so it is a great way to showcase your skills to the recruiters interviewers and other relatable persons uh, about your power bi projects power bi works so github is a great way to deploy your projects and how you can publish the power bi projects on github i have a step by step uh, informed and in that particular video i would leave the link of that video in the description so do check it out from there so yes guys that's all about today thank you so much i will see you next video